we're in the <laughs> birthday tell. Ah! Happy birthday, Chuck. Happy, Happy 70th. 70th, Dad. We love you so much. Thank you for always supporting us, and we hope you enjoy your 70th. We'll play some poker and, you know, all that good stuff. That's all I got. Well, Chucky, I just talked to Beth, <clears throat> and you didn't get my video, so I'm going to do it again and see if this works. The video she got was nine seconds of me talking with my, or just sitting there with my eyes closed. So I'm going to try to keep my eyes open the whole time. Now, to start with, I'm going to tell a story about the first time I ever saw you do something stupid. This is a story about the riding lawnmower. It had somebody chasing it. I was looking out my front window on Boston Road. And there down the street, it goes a riding lawnmower. Beautiful lawnmower. Had to be expensive. It was really looking good. And suddenly, I figured out there was nobody on that lawnmower. So, the next thing I saw was a slender athlete chasing that lawnmower. He was running behind it. His leg muscles were glistening and rippling, and the sun was reflecting off of his forehead and blinding me. And you eventually caught it, and then you mounted it like Roy Rogers mounted Trigger when he was in a hurry. You pulled back on the steering wheel, and stopped it. You turned it around, and drove it back up, and you cut your yard. Now, this was an awesome thing to see. The second story is about your Lexus. You had lost your keys and had looked for them for a month, couldn't find them. So you called the contractor to come and make you new keys. That cost you three or four hundred dollars. But the good thing was he found your old keys laying by the rear tire on the passenger side. So now you got your old keys and your new keys, which I think is totally awesome because you cannot lose two sets of keys, surely to God but you probably really could. Now, I'm getting a new vehicle because you can't get your butt in my truck. We're always late for lunch because you can't get in my truck. So, I'm gonna get a new vehicle. So you can just get on the ground and slide your butt in. Now, I hope that'll make you happy, but buddy, We've been friends a long time, had a lot of laughs, a lot of good times. You've always been there for me, and hopefully we've always been there for you through good times and bad. The only other story I'm going to tell, which I think is one of the funniest, is when Art and I were sitting on his deck drinking beer one day. And we'd finish a beer, and we'd throw the can over the deck, and watch Linda run out to pick it up and throw it in the garbage. We must have done it 12, 15 times. Well, Art and I got hungry. He had no food, we had no food. So we said, let's go over to Chuck's and see what they've got. So we went over to your house, walked up the steps, walked in the front door, walked up into the kitchen, and there you were with Alice and Beck and Brooke, or Beth and Brooke, eating dinner. We opened up the refrigerator, and Becky corrected me. We think it was barbecued chicken, but you had a whole mess of barbecued chicken in that refrigerator. We picked it up, said, see you later, and went back over to Art's house and ate it. Now, as we were walking out of your house, I heard Brooke ask you, what just happened? And you said, I have no idea. But was that ever good chicken? So that was kind of a funny story that Art and I always talk about. So I want you to have a happy birthday. 
We love you. And Beck has a video that she's going to go over a couple of things. And you will remember this. So you all have a good one. Have a safe trip back. We love you. Happy birthday, buddy. Goodbye. Happy birthday, Chuck. I know you'd like this, a little bit of lime-infused olive oil on your jalapenos. They go good on mashed potatoes. And I got all this corn over here. They go good on mashed potatoes also. We're getting ready to make some burgers. Mashed potatoes goes good with burgers too. Hey, everybody. Happy birthday. Happy 70th. Happy birthday, Chuck. Happy birthday, Happy 70th. Happy birthday, Chuck. Chuck, this looks like you. I'm telling you. You don't, you, know what you don't know Jeff. what you're missing. You can take one of these and a whole bottle of Tums and you're just right. <laughs> Happy birthday. Happy 70th, Chuck. Happy birthday, my Chucky. It's been a long time that we've been together. Can't believe it's been that long since we were dancing together in eighth grade. And here we are, 70 years old. Uh, We've had a lot of years, got a lot of good years together, a lot of ups and downs, but that's normal. We produce four beautiful children. I wish you a happy 70th birthday. I love you very much, and I hope we have many more years together. Bye. Well, we're here this morning to um, wish our friend and neighbor when we lived in Lexington, Dr. Chuck Marshall, happy 70th birthday. Of course, we're over at the farm here in Lebanon, Kansas. Uh, we'll do a little mowing today and trimming up grass and weeds and flowers. This is our grandson, Fisher, and our granddaughter, Felicity, is taking the picture. We're taking the video. We have many fond memories of Chuck uh, and Alice next door. We, I remember, I think it about this mower behind us here and uh, Chuck chasing a mower down the hill uh, on Boston Court toward Boston Road. Uh, Bill can tell that story better than I can, but anyway. Chuck, we wish you a, a very happy and healthy and prosperous uh, 70th birthday. And uh, what great memories and great uh, neighbors you all have been and friends throughout the years. Fisher's going to say happy birthday, Chuck. Happy birthday. <laughs> and Chuck, I was telling Fisher and Felicity about how Beth and Brooke used to come over and ask if Christy Sherry could play, and they thought that was kind of funny. So that was one of the things that I remembered about y'all being our neighbor and just the good times and the parties we had. It was just a great time in our lives. So we wish you a happy birthday and many more to come. So happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Chuck. Happy birthday to you. And we do mean you. Take care, young guy. Talk to you soon. Bye. Bye. Hi, Dad. Um, I just wanted to wish you a happy 70th birthday. Um, I just want to thank you for um, everything that you've done for me and Ella, um, especially these past few years. Um, I don't know how we would have survived without you and Mom. Um, but and I just wanted to say thanks for all the wonderful laughs. Um, I don't know that I have ever laughed so hard than I have these past few years. Even though they've been some of the hardest, they've been some of the funniest. Um, so thank you. Um, I'm proud of I'm proud of you and all the hard work that you've done um, throughout your life. And I just wanted to say um, I love you. Happy birthday, and I hope you enjoy all the videos. Love you. Chuckster, happy birthday, man. Big seven zero. Trying to get some uh, a story here. Um, 
I think the one thing that sticks out in my mind um, is when we all went to the Reds game and um, we had a great time at the game. It was uh, the Lovelies, my dad, and you know, David Lee and myself, and um, I think Ross was there too. We all packed in the uh, the old Navigator, the black Navigator that you had. And I think maybe you had uh, one too many drinks at the game and asked my dad to drive home. Well, he didn't know how to work the electronics of, of the uh, of the vehicle. And we ran into um, some traffic. And uh, I was all the way in the back. And, <laughs> you know, we were all uh, kind of sticking our heads out the window and yelling at people. And um, I think I was the last person to stick my head out the window and yell. <laughs> and uh, as I was doing that, my dad pulled up on the, uh, the window and it got my head stuck in between the window and the top of the door. <laughs> and I started screaming, you know, and he didn't know how to roll the window down. So my head stuck there and was stuck there for, you know, a couple too many seconds. And, uh, you know, I think I was kind of freaking out and, uh, you know, the whole, the whole car load had a, had a nice laugh at my expense. So, um, yeah. Um, the other things I remember about you are just kind of, you know, you sitting on that uh, recliner in in the living room and you'd have that big old beer gut and you'd put that little pug right on top of your gut, you know, like a little cherry on top of a cake. <laughs> and you'd sit there and you'd watch football and uh, we'd come in and see you and I, I'd see that, that pug, not that pig, I'd see that pug, Meg see Meg right there on your, on your stomach. And, you know, you were just super chill, man. So, um, it's always been great getting to know you and I'm glad to have had you for a neighbor as long as we did. Happy birthday. And, um, you know, best wishes on many to come. Uh, Happy birthday, Happy birthday. Oh. <laughs> Happy birthday, Papa. I wish you a good birthday. And um, I love you, and I think you'll have a great birthday. And I don't think, I know you will. Love you. Yeah, David's here. David's here.